There's lots of things that we've learned over the years and the two main things is ground cover and a bit of soil disturbance. But also we've, we've planted lots of native uh, grasses as well uh, to encourage more diversity. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of these plants have, grew here originally, naturally, and um, just by uh, nature's wonders that they started growing again in areas where we'd never ever seen them before. And it's my belief that some of these grasses, the rabbits wiped them out uh, years ago because they were summer growing, summer water, water growing perennial or annual plants uh, that um, in most cases they were the only green plants that grew in that time of the year. And we've planted some of those natives, like Warrigo grass, um, which is a, a really interesting grass and it's got drought tolerant features. The branches of the, the plant, so to speak, uh, can collect the water and funnel it all to the, into the centre of where the roots actually grow. So it's a, a really valuable plant in, that, as far as I can see. And it can stand a bit of nutrient too. So. The plants feed the soil for a start um, by producing uh, exudates or sugars. Not all exudates are sugars, but the main um, source of food for the bacteria and that in the soil are the, the, um, the sugars that the plant exude. And that's why we use oats as a pasture cropping species because it's one of the best plants for exuding sugars into the soil. The plant produces sugars in the, day, in the daytime when the sun's out and in the night time if things are working properly it goes into the soil to feed the microbes. But if things aren't working properly that's, that doesn't happen. It doesn't go into the soil. You might think it's a waste <laughs> putting it in the soil when you're trying to grow a, grow a, a bumper crop but there's there's payoffs for doing that. That sort of gets the, the, the bacteria fired up. There's bacteria for to do all different sorts of things. There's bacteria that actually put nitrogen, nitrogen into the soil naturally. When you start seeing more and more species of plants grow, you, you know things are starting to um, kick into gear. Uh, because the more and more you've got, the bigger food source you've got. By soil disturbance, you're actually getting some oxygen into the ground and, and fungi actually require oxygen to grow. They're competing with, with us for our oxygen, but they can also be a good food source. <laughs>